Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown, but the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. How you doing, sir? Out and I, I hear the big shot producer from GNN on the phone with the agency desperate to get a camera. Photographers here. In this day and age, it's horrifying. What it was.
Jerry. Stop. Uh, finally, where have you been? Hey, back off. My husband is gonna... Klaus Strandberg has agreed to an exclusive interview with celebrity GNN reporter Pam Kingsley, no doubt to enrage the public even further. This could be a way inside the lockdown consulate, and the replacement cameraman, a local freelancer, is yet to arrive. Your ass. of the seven billion. Stick to the facts. I got it. The accusations, the trial, tr uh, Stromberg's dramatic breakout. You know, get his side of the story. Title, I got this. Right. And you, aim and shoot. This is it, guys. The big one. You made it. Most impressive, 47. Now to locate Klaus Strandberg. Oh, Pam Kingsley, GNN News. My name is Pearson. Mr. Strandberg is ready for you. Follow me, please. Target down. Move on to Klaus Strandberg. I say I was surprised that Consul Olander authorized this interview. Adding fuel to the fire, I should think. But that is not my call. Nevertheless, you must understand that the building is on high alert. If the situation evolves, you will be evacuated without protest, yes? Well, let's just hope it doesn't come to that, Ms. Pearson. Hello there. That is Klaus Strandberg, most wanted man in Morocco. Aha, capital, you made it. Come on in, come in, good. Pam Kingsley, a pleasure. Mm. I watch your show all the time. You're even more lovely in the flesh. And this is... Uh, Tyler Clark, producer. And this is our cameraman, Finley. Tyler and Finley. Splendid. Well, <clears throat> let's do this, shall we? Where do you want me? Uh, the light is nice over here. Not that I want to tell you boys how to do your jobs, good heavens. Well, right here is fine, Mr. Stramberg. Sit down, make yourself comfortable, and we'll be ready nice in no gear. time. Oh, no, no, please, please. Call me Klaus. Okay, I think we're set. Roll when you're ready. Camera rolling. Hey, when you got a sec, think you could do something about the lights? Upstairs somewhere? Thanks, bud. 
Okay, we're ready if you are, Mr. Access Denver. to the consulate and first row seats for the inter... ...view. Nicely done, 47. One moment, sir. Gonna have to pat you down. Won't be long now. Okay, how was that for you, huh? <laughs> Such are the charges, yes. Do you have any explanation to these accusations? Well, I can only conclude that the Moroccan authorities must have misunderstood the Misunderstood. Both targets down. Now head towards an exit. Compromised, but I... I don't understand. There is no sign of forced entry, no alarms, nothing. One of my people has gone missing in Johannesburg. A key bearer. I wish I'd been informed. Still, the system demands two keys, and the rest are all accounted for. Except for your late predecessors. Comp? But... His plane went down over the Pacific. It was an accident. Such was the conclusion at the time. Yes. Hi, Mr. Fannin. Happens all the time, even to us. It seems like a conspiracy. Probably isn't. And yet, the failed coup in Morocco, the ether virus, someone knows about us. There was a pattern and I failed to see it. Providence is under attack. How much was there? Money. <laughs> Not money, Mr. Fennin. Information on all of our assets and operatives. Like you. Take a trench, Director. And make it a deep one. Because none of you are safe anymore. <laughs> 